Good afternoon. Um, you will have heard or read this afternoon the statement that came from Staffordshire Police and um, Matthew Ellis's office, the Staffordshire Police and Crime Commissioner, regarding the policing uh, issues which have been presented not only this week but has been ongoing for several. Uh, I just want to make this point today. There will be a further statement made next week. I didn't feel comfortable releasing some information which may make some fans emotionally over and above their normal emotions at match day, which could create a problem that we could do without. Um, Port Vale is a community club, and as such, I genuinely believe is what the mortar between the bricks of the community is the football club, which retains and keeps this place alive amongst all the challenges that it actually has. And without Port Vale, I honestly believe that Burslem would be a fraction of what it is today and most of the retailers and most of the pubs would disappear. We do a lot of work in the community with the police, without field favour, to actually deal with the challenges that I personally understand having grown up in an area like this. On the flip side, as a football club, we have uh, competitive football played and unfortunately, in some occasions, we are at the mercy of the police regarding how they feel the policing should be applied. Begin the season, it was a partnership. It's now turned into a dictatorship, and that's something that I was unhappy with, hence the stand that I've been taking. It's not a case of not paying. It's what's agreed prior to payment that's been the issue. And I question some of the quality of the intelligence which is put to us. And I'm not, I'm, although I'm not a professional, I have, have, have access to other football clubs that are able to speak to the, uh, the officials and the safety people at the clubs to understand if there are any issues which should uh, be addressed at our end. We are licensed by our safety certificate to run a stadium such as this without the police's presence. But the police can, and if they choose, insist to be involved. But I believe, and also many football club owners and officers of football clubs around the country believe, it has to be a partnership and not a dictatorship. It goes without saying that some of our challenges are being brought about by a very small minority of our fans who choose to go out of their way to create issues, be it ones of racist chanting or fighting or antisocial behaviour. And the reason I'm doing this video link is to appeal to those fans Please, if you have within your DNA this condition which at a football game brings out the worst in you, either seek help to keep it under control or please go and support another football club. Because I am both mentally and physically tired in fighting the football club's position when your actions make it very difficult for me and for the club as a whole. Hopefully tomorrow We'll have another three points because believe me we need them and next week i will be able to give you further details as to why the standoff with the police is what it is and what i believe both the police and myself have to do to bring it back to where it should be thank you good night